Okay, so I have here a, a, a Teensy. You can Google it. It's Teensy as in Teensy Tiny. And uh, basically, it's a little processor, a little bit of storage. You can add more storage if you like. Um, and the ins and outs of the processor and functionality are mapped to those uh, solder points around the edges. Uh, so you can breadboard it or hard solder it, to, and uh, people do all kinds of cool things with this. Um, but I am not using any of that ability at the moment. I am simply uploading code to it so it acts as a human interface device. Um, so basically, it's got just enough storage built into it to uh, store a little bit of shell code. And um, when I plug it into a computer, the computer recognizes it as a keyboard or a mouse or some other kind of human interface device. Um, which is great because I can exploit a computer and get a shell or even better a meterpreter, a VNC session back to myself. Um, and the computer does not think that it's a flash drive, it thinks that it's a keyboard. So, you know, almost everybody has uh, U3 auto run disabled anymore. Uh, auto run exploits are, are quite hard to pull off, really. Um, so, so this is great because it's not a flash drive, it has nothing to do with auto run, um, it generally gets around any manner of antivirus that may be up. Um, so here's, here's how we play with this thing. Uh, you program it from the Arduino environment here, so, uh, if I start up my, my Arduino sketchboard here, uh, you've got to set a couple of things here and make sure that uh, we've got to be on the appropriate board there and we've got to be setting it to identify itself as a keyboard or a mouse instead of a serial device. Now the Arduino, uh, much more functionality than this little thing in an Arduino, but um, it's not very good at emulating a human interface device, truly. Um, so this is really what you want for that. Now. Uh, I'm going to drag in here um, the code to upload this, and this is um, this is auto-generated by uh, by the social engineering toolkit. You just punch in a couple of options, really, and uh, there's the code that we're going to upload to this thing. Um, now we compile it. We hope it compiles. Sometimes it doesn't. You have to troubleshoot, and uh, oh, it looked like it was going to give me a problem, but uh, but there we go. Um, well, it looks like it might have a problem, but we'll give it a go anyway. In true live demo fashion, um, everything might just break. So, uh, pardon my video color here, but um, basically, we just plug that in there. And there's a little tiny button on the board itself. I hit the button, and the compiled code is uploaded automatically and quite quickly to the device. Uh, so now I'm going to unplug it here. Um, and let's see, for our hacking pleasure... I have here set up, uh, I know it's in that terminal, I have here set up a uh, meterpreter handler. So after this thing uh, dishes out reverse shell on the machine, it's going to spawn a meterpreter back to our backtrack box there. So uh, in order for this to work now, um, it, it does, it emulates a keyboard. So I'm going to plug it right in to the Windows box. and. Uh, just like I plugged in a keyboard, it's going to, you know, you could do all this with a keyboard. Pull up a command prompt via run and uh, type out our, our encoded uh, reverse shell there. Now, of course, for this to work in the wild or in a pen test, uh, of course, a little social engineering involved. You have to get your victim to walk away from the machine for about 30 seconds here. Um, of course, if you find an open machine, great. But otherwise, uh, tell them to go get their manager or whatever. But you see, um, we ran... We plugged it in, it ran automatically, I didn't touch a thing, I could have plugged it in the back of a computer without even looking at the monitor. And, um, there we go. We have a, uh, we have a, um, interpreter session here. And there we are. And that's, uh, that's my box here. So now we've been completely owned, and you've got the full power of uh, of a meterpreter. I can spawn VNC. I can sp make it persistent. Anything like that. Um, completely owned. Took me um, well. This video is at 4:29, so uh, took me less than five minutes total to do that. So um, lock down your workstations. Put uh, put something in the USB ports in the back if you have to show them to your clients. Yeah. <laughs>